Okay, we are inside at 25830 West Magnolia. Right from the front entrance, the front door, you do have access to the one car garage. And um, this will give you access to the exterior. Also, there is some storage underneath the stairwell, which is nice, a little bit extra storage. But you do have the one car stall, access to outside. They still have the car here. And then it opens up to the main living space, really nice, big, tall ceilings. You do have lots of storage with this home. So nice, big coat closet here. Um, and then it's a very large formal living room space and the loft upstairs overlooks this area. And then you'll have the, you know, family room or great room just through the doorway. So you do have that secondary space. Uh, right over here, a little breakfast nook for dining table and chairs. And then you've got a big wide open space. I'll back up into the corner so you can kind of get a feel for the whole room. So the kitchen with the little eat-in dining area, slider to the outside. You do have the built-in entertainment area as well, which I'll show you from the other angle. Uh, you've got lots of nice big tall cabinets. There's a little secretary desk there. This one is missing the refrigerator. Um, so that's something you'd need to add, uh, but you've got the overhead uh, storage there. You've got the small island with the sink and dishwasher. And then again, more cabinetry, pretty nice size composite type uh, countertops and drop-in sink. Really nice big pantry uh, with tall ceilings as well. So it's a really great size. Um, and then this is fun. From the front door, you can go one of two ways. So there's our front door. You can turn in and go down the hallway and come into that kitchen area and family room, or you go you know, down a little bit further and you have a guest bath. It's a full size bath, tub shower. And then you've got a bedroom over here as well. So this is nice. It might be a good bedroom option for your oldest uh, because it's off away from everybody else. Uh, so that's a nice option. I know you mentioned that you would like a nice big laundry room. You definitely have that here. Uh, you've got the laundry sink, the extra cabinets, and then the space for washer and dryer. Again, you will need to have your own uh, appliances in that regard. So washer, dryer, and refrigerator. And then this is the two car garage with water softener and the water heater is located in this garage and the windows this faces the street and so you've got the windows looking out that way and so now we'll backtrack it's a little bit of deferred maintenance you know just need to be cleaned and repainted some of the trim some of the walls needing a little bit of freshening up but it's not really bad Another look at this room down here as I turn the lights out for you. We'll take a look at the backyard and the pool area before going upstairs. Um, so the pool, I think we had talked about this previously that it looked like maybe the pool was um, green and it is in fact green so I don't know if the seller has the intention of cleaning that before the closing because it's pretty rough so something that sometimes people see as a negative is having a second story uh, that you know looks right into your yard in a sense um, they've got the sun shades and everything like that but you do have a second story and like we talked about, the majority of this yard is pool. Um, you know, you've got a little bit of rock over here. I'll get into the corner and show it to you, but 
it's not exactly a huge yard. Uh, you've got the area there with the air conditioning units. And this is basically the extent of the yard. So not exactly the largest yard. And again, the pool, this needs to be looked at. What, you know, is causing it, whether it's an issue with the equipment, nothing's running. The neighbors have a dog <laughs> and you do have a nice big patio. Uh, there's a bird's nest up there. I don't know. There's a, signs of some deferred maintenance here. It may have been a rental. Now we'll go up. So I want to show you some of the details here. Really nice, you know, ironwork in the banister. That's a silver kind of tone, wood banister. So up here from the second floor, you have a great view. The main floor, windows looking out. You can see the mountains just past your neighbor's roof line. The carpet, I don't know if you can see. Zoom in. There you go, you can see quite a bit of where, I don't know if a steam cleaning or something might fix that, but a little bit of wear in that carpet. Also right here. So these carpets I'd say would be better off being replaced. And you've got some nice windows here. Looking out right across the street, you've got a school. Let's see here, open this up for you. You've got mountains in the distance and a school right across the street, which is a nice plus for you. But you've got this extra little loft space. So you have the main living room, the family room area, the loft. You definitely have the space that you're looking for. So we have a bedroom here. Let me get the light on for you. It's not the biggest room in the planet, but it's a decent size. Nice uh, size closet. It does have a fan, which is nice. It's like a Berber carpet. And again, you can see it's in need of, at the very least, a steam clean. I would say replacement would be more ideal. And then this room is definitely a little bit larger. Same fan. They left some shelving in the room. Nice size closet. Give you a look, spin around. This is a larger, the larger of the three that we've looked at so far. The one downstairs was not as big as this one, but bigger than the last one that we were in prior to. Then you have a nice, again, this is our second full bathroom. So wash, excuse me, shower and tub combo. Nice size tub. It's not as shallow as some. And then you could potentially make that into a dual sink if you wanted to, but not necessary. And again, great view over here give you an idea you do have some nice built-in linen closet and so this would be a dual zone air conditioning so you'd have the upstairs and the downstairs which is nice this is the home with the owned solar okay so you have a patio or a balcony, excuse me, right off of the master. Looks like there's a lot of bird activity because there's oops, uh, some bird waste. I'll give you the mountains are right there in the background, but the yards are very tight. You can see your neighbors who are in the pool right now. These homes are really kind of stacked back inside they're really you know close to each other and this home is pretty far out there in Buckeye it's you're really making a drive um, there's a lot of amenities around but you're far from town as well you know this main part of Phoenix this is a master uh, bathroom that's a little bit more of a shallow garden tub or you know not as deep as the one in the last home Decent sized shower. You do have the dual vanity sink. 
medicine cabinets. It's a nice size shower for you, view. And the water closet. I know we talked about this before, uh, the light. So you see it's got the tall ceilings and it's pretty wide. I know you had mentioned you didn't like the idea of it, but it's not a very small room like you were thinking. At least, I don't think it's that small. Um, really nice big size closet. Spin around here for you. Lots and lots of space here. <clears throat> Overall, it's a really nice, you know, home with some great positives to it, but there are a couple of pieces, you know, to be mindful of as well. I think for you and what you've told me about what you're looking for, the yard is the biggest area of opportunity. Uh, the house itself, if maybe it were on a different lot, would be a little bit better for you. Um, but we'll discuss that a little bit more. Okay, so now we are outside. And when I say you're right across from the school, I mean literally, you are right across from the school. There's the field, the baseball field, um, off in the distance, you do see the mountains, but you're, you know, right here in the thick of it for the school. So that could be ideal if that's where your kids are going to school, um, but I don't know how you might feel about that. So here's the exterior of the home. Again, a little bit of deferred maintenance uh, with the property. It's not terrible, but maybe a little bit of a power washing and cleaning up, touching up paint in some areas. Not horrible, but just pointing it out for you. It's very windy today. I'm going to go across the street. Just want to give you a better view. There's that tree in the front that could probably stand to be trimmed. Uh, so again, I'll be uploading this video and we'll chat about it once you've had the opportunity to review it. Uh, nice area out here in Buckeye, but distance wise from what you're giving up in terms of the yard, not sure. This is a view of the neighborhood and we'll talk soon.